Pleistocene Park is a nature reserve in northeastern Siberia that's being repopulated with animals to recreate an ecosystem that last flourished in the Ice Age. This is being done to mitigate climate change, since the park sits on large areas of permafrost. Permafrost is a frozen ground, and this ground was frozen for tens of thousands of years. Now with the climate change, permafrost is getting warmer, and already getting to the point when it starts to, to thaw. If permafrost melts, and permafrost is a huge carbon reservoir. There is like two times more carbon in the permafrost than in our entire world atmosphere. And if you get rid of the snow somehow, you can cool the permafrost quite substantially. So in this sense, animals can actually help. If underneath the snow, you have something tasty and good for animals, they will dig through the snow and the snow will be very thin. And at that, it will lose most of its heat insulating ability. Realistically, we can get two to three degrees cooling of permafrost by this activity. Nikita also says that more grassland will help with the reflective qualities of the snow. Second effect, it's actually direct cooling effect. In May, you cannot walk outside without sunglasses. And at that time, we get for about six weeks a year, we get about 160 watts per square meter from every, uh, from every square meter reflected additionally. He also says that simply put, the ecosystem will sequester a huge amount of carbon. I think if we will manage to have this ecosystem on around 3 million square kilometers, this will be able to sequester approximately about 20% of entire anthropogenic emissions. So every year we will sequester 20% of what our world emits annually. But this task is not simply difficult. It's a hypothesis. We are not just introducing one type of animal and seeing how it do. We need to uh, restore the whole functionality of ecosystem and ecosystems are usually very complex and no one has done it before. And we do not have entire knowledge how to do it right and how exactly it, it must function. We all we know that in the past, those high productive grazing ecosystems existed almost everywhere on the planet. I see the progress in the poison part. They see that every year our grass is getting denser and denser. Our animals are doing better and better. I don't know how much time it will take us to get there, uh, if we'll ever get there, but I am sure that this ecosystem and what I'm doing will be helpful for people and it will be helpful for my kids, it will be helpful for the country, it will be helpful for the entire world. And this is kind of, I think, good enough motivation for me to do what I do.